Naba Moyadeen in Khartoum. Thanks again for joining us, Naba. Give us a sense of what is behind uh, this uptick in uh, tribal clashes between the Hausa people and uh, the Berti people in the south of Sudan. We've had about 60 fatalities already. Um, give us a sense of what's behind this violence. Thanks, Janice, again. And uh, actually, there is some reasons uh, or many reasons behind these clashes. Experts and uh, political analysts uh, think uh, the government, the transitional government uh, th that was suspended by a military coup last October, had a security vacuum and that uh, made things worse uh, because uh, the transitional period that followed uh, by a military coup had brought a peace agreement, which was incomplete, uh, uh, brought it to the political scene in the country without even discussing uh, main issues like land ownership and, um, and water access and uh, the conflict around life itself. This is why we are seeing tribal classes erupting over and over again in that four, in Luba Mountain, in Blue Nile, and sometimes in Eastern Sudan. And it may be the flare of bigger conflict or uh, even uh, a looming civil war. So the recent tribal classes started uh, when uh, when uh, uh, Alberti uh, the ethnic group re uh, rejected a request by Hausa to form a, a civil body to uh, to access to land ownership. They rejected this and said they don't have uh, an ownership in the land. And then the fight broke. And this is one of the issues in Sudan, the, the, the land ownership and access to water and uh, the conflict around life. So unless you have this agreement discussing this, uh, these issues in conflicting areas, we may see more chaos scenarios and even uh, a civil war in a worst scenario. Okay, Naba Mohideen, thank you for that update uh, from Khartoum.